Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with the multi tutorial on all the missiles in Missile Wars, including one of the new experimental uh, missiles. In a moment, you will see a, uh, a picture with annotations which will allow you to click the missile you want to, to see the tutorial for, and you will always be able to uh, click on an annotation to get back to the, the main selection area. So, um, yeah, that's how you can move around. Um, the resources needed I will include in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, make your selection. Okay, for the Tomahawk, what you want to do is you want to start out by building a Caterpillar engine, something I've covered in my slime lock tutorial series but before we put the, the redstone block on top um, we're just going to add everything else that will be the last thing we will do then we have a uh, pusher at the f uh, at the front of the caterpillar some tnt piston another pusher then you get uh, two slime blocks The, the warhead and then on the side here what you get is you go up and you can place one two TNT then two no normal blocks more TNT and one more TNT and now if you place the redstone block here you will have your tomahawk missile and if you want to launch it all you have to do is somehow update the piston I'm looking at right now and uh, you can use a flint and steel for that for instance and this thing will just keep flying until it goes outside the loaded chunks and it will explode on impact. That's the Tomahawk. The Guardian is by far my favorite missile in the game. Um, if you want to build a Guardian, what you have to do is go like three blocks, blocks above the ground and build two piston caterpillars. Like so. And we're going to wait with placing the, uh, the redstone blocks for now. Um, then at the top right, what you want to do is place a uh, um, solid block, redstone block on top. And you end up with a little plus sign at the front with the redstone block at the bottom. And then you can place some glass there and there. And then uh, if we go down here you can place some TNT on that one just because there's room and then we go uh, let me think well, we go down here and we actually need a slime block here then some glass can also be TNT if you want and we move forward slime block Last block, and then we actually need a TNT there, like that, followed by two TNT at the bottom. And then if we, to top it off, we place our two redstone blocks. And if you want to fire it, you have to update the, the piston caterpillar on the right. And this thing will now fly, and as soon as it hits something, It explodes. Whoops. <laughs> the lightning missile, the fastest missile in Missile Wars, twice as fast as all the other missiles. If you want to build one of these, to do the following, um, we have to create a, a blocked piston. I'm using obsidian, you can also use like a furnace. And in front of that we have Another piston, and just for safe sake, I'm going to put a non-movable block there so that I don't accidentally update this piston. I'm sending it flying, and then a piston in the back, like so. Then we need some pistons on the side. 
these are to uh, update the pistons above causing or like pretty much turning them into uh, zero tick engines and that doesn't mean that, that the thing is flies at zero tick it just means that uh, the uh, yeah the updating of the pistons is super fast um, then what we want is you can place uh, lots and lots and lots of TNT on the side here then a normal block and a redstone block and what will happen is as soon as this thing crashes into something this redstone block will get pushed underneath the, the TNT block here uh, igniting the whole thing and I guess you can place more TNT there and you could place TNT there but it would probably just fall down when it ignites so let's not do that um, then in the back, because we're not done yet, you need a sticky piston. And we go like this. And now you, you could technically place like three TNT at the back, but I think that's overdoing it a little bit. So I'm just going to place one. And then we will have a normal piston facing up. And let's see, is there any place I could fit additional TNT? Uh, there is actually, you could place additional TNT there. Uh, but that's about it though so yeah that is the lightning then if you want to uh, make it fly you get rid of the non-movable block and you update the piston I'm looking at right now so this will send it flying at high speed and then as soon as it bumps into something TT at the front ignites and the whole thing explodes The shield buster, the barrier's worst nightmare. If you want to build a shield buster, again we start out with a uh, caterpillar engine. Now normally we'd put a redstone block on top of this, but I'm just going to wait a little bit before I do that. Um, first we go up, and the TNT I'm placed now would, will eventually become the trigger mechanism. Then what we do is we add a piston pusher. Next piston ready. Some TNT on the side because the shield buster actually is quite powerful. And another piston pusher. Piston on top. Uh, yeah. And then This here at the front will be the uh, yeah the thing that will slam through the uh, the incoming shield. This actually has to be a slime lock. Sorry about that. Let me cover this up with TNT, uh, and you're done. Uh, actually, no. We need to place the uh, the final redstone lock. Um, but now you're done. You could add more TNT maybe here and there, but. Uh, yeah, I feel like this. Is, oh, I feel like this is good enough. Uh, if you want to fire this thing, just start it up like that. Update that that block, and I guess if I throw a snowball, well, it wasn't a perfect throw, but you you get the idea. And then when it reaches the wall, trigger mechanism activates, and I might damage the shield now. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> You get quite a big explosion. So yeah, shield buster, nice missile. The juggernaut, the missile with by far the most TNT in missile wars. If you want to build one, what you want to do is start out with a piston caterpillar. That's kind of what most of the missiles run on in missile wars. Um, I'm gonna leave the redstone block out for now. Some TNT on the side. Piston pusher there. Then on one side we have a piston pusher leading into another piston pusher, but the second pusher is a little bit weird. Uh, we are actually going to drag this one block forward and place some additional TNT there. And I guess we can make the, the warhead of the missile. So should have ended up with something like this. And I guess you can actually add TNT there as well. 
because we're now at 8, 9, 10, 11, it's fine. Then uh, on the other side, kind of same deal. Uh, let's unlock below there. And then a ton of TNT on the side, all getting pushed along by this one piston. And at the top for the trigger mechanism, there's eventually going to be a redstone block there, but just for now, let's go along like this. All the way there. Redstone block here. This will ignite this TNT, which is the trigger mechanism. And seeing as we are well within our safe zone when it comes to TNT, we can add some more TNT there. There. And um, no, you can't place it there, though. Um, so yeah, let's unlock there. Quick look, can we strap some more TNT somewhere? No, I think we're pretty good the way it is. Now, if you want to uh, activate this missile, it's a bit tricky, you have to be careful with all the TNT, but you go down below and update the piston down there. And uh, yeah, this thing will keep flying and as soon as it hits like two blocks uh, or a non non-movable block like this one, Trigger mechanism gets activated and you get tons of collateral damage, TNT flying everywhere. The Juggernaut! And finally the latest experimental addition to Missile Wars, uh, the Sword, which I think is, is hilarious to play around with and it's very easy to build as well. Um, Piston Caterpillar, wait just a little second again with uh, placing the redstone block. Uh, slime block there, piston there and there. At the top here what we do is we uh, get a piston pusher, place one, two, three TNT, slime block one, two, three, four, five TNT at the front, making it so that we are not going over the push limit. I think you can actually do another one if you really wanted to. Um, and then we need a slime segment here normal block redstone block and then if you place your redstone block for the engine and you power or you power you update this piston this thing will start flying and then as soon as it hits something all the TNT is gonna compress some of it will fall down and if it hits the wall it will stop and you will get like a, a very big massive explosion um, but yeah that is the uh, the sword I hope you guys enjoyed like always if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe and uh, please leave a like and a comment and uh, I'll see you all later bye bye